Hey, what is going on Wildlife X team? This is Michael here and in today's video, we're going to be giving you some seven interesting facts about rabies. Now, if you don't know, rabies is a virus which spreads through biting and it's a very deadly disease. Typically, animals such as raccoons will get this and then they'll start foaming at the mouth. And we have another video, which I will link in the description below, which has the symptoms if a raccoon has rabies. Like I said, it's very deadly and if you get bit, it could potentially kill you. And if your animal gets bit as well, it could possibly kill them as well. So again, if you wanna check out that video, find it in the description below. But without further ado, this is seven interesting facts about rabies. Fact number one. It's nearly everywhere. With the exception of Antarctica, rabies is present on all continents. And in fact, in the United States of America, rabies has been reported in every state except Hawaii. So if you're in Hawaii, you will be a little bit more lucky because rabies has apparently not spread there yet. At least there hasn't been any reported cases, but all over the USA, Canada, and in fact, the entire world, there are cases of rabies everywhere, so unfortunately this virus is everywhere and it is very important to know the signs of rabies, which is why we made that other video, uh, because if you see an animal with rabies, you definitely want to stay away from it. Fact number two, rabies in Latin actually means rage, and uh, in Latin it means to rage. And the reason for this is because animals with rabies begin to act very violently. As the disease progresses, animals develop hypersensitivity to light and sound, as well as paralysis of the nerves that control the head and throat. Eventually, the rabid animal will go into respiratory failure and dies. However, during that time of it having these issues of hypersensitivity, which basically means that the light feels 10 times brighter and sounds sound 10 times brighter, so the animal becomes very hypervigilant, alert, and aggressive because it sounds like everything is a threat. Fact number three, the rabies virus is spread via contact with saliva from an infected animal. Through transmission, uh, the through transmission is usually through a bite wound, rabies has been known to spread through a scratch or an existing open wound. So you're most likely to get rabies if you get bit by say a wild raccoon that is rabid, and then through the bite wound, it will get injected into your bloodstream. However, if you already have an open wound or you have a scratch from some animal, there is a small chance also that you could develop rabies like that. Fact number four, any mammal can get rabies. That's right, including your dog, your cat, you, your children, raccoons in the neighborhood, they could or potentially even have rabies. The most common rabies carriers in the United States are raccoons, bats, skunks, and foxes. Skunks and foxes not so much and they're typically not as aggressive. Raccoons are the big danger one because they can tend to be highly aggressive even without having rabies, but once they get rabies, <laughs> they can just go around biting people. It's a little bit crazy and bats won't be too much of a problem because they're usually nocturnal. But if you are exploring a cave or you're out at night and you go to an area with a lot of bats, that could also be how you get it. Fact number five, rabies is usually fatal once symptoms appear. So when one symptom appears, it usually means it is too late, unfortunately. So what this means is if you get bit by rabies, we highly recommend, um, or you know, if you think you've been bit by a wild animal and there's any question at all whether or not the animal was sick, you should go to the doctor immediately and get a rabies vaccination just in case. Because once you start getting that headache, once you start being hypersensitive, it's too late, death will occur within a couple hours. The same is true for animals as well. If your dog gets bit and you didn't take it to the veterinarian and uh, then later it starts exhibiting signs, which could take a couple hours, it could take a week, it could take two weeks, once those symptoms start appearing, it's too late and the disease will have to run its course. Fact number six, 59,000 people die per year from rabies, mostly children in Africa and Asia because they don't have a proper, proper support if they do get bit such as a vaccination or they're hanging around wild animals. Fact number seven, thoroughly washing can help prevent the transmission of rabies. So if you get bit, by an animal, you should thoroughly wash the injury with soap and warm water 
and this is going to greatly reduce the chance that you would get rabies. However, like we said earlier, if you get bit one way or another, you should be going into the emergency room so that way you can get a rabies vaccination and as well as vaccinations for any other diseases within your area that could have been spread. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a thumbs up and comment what was your most interesting fact in the, in the comment section below. My name is Michael with Wildlife X Team and we will see you in the next video.